is Insight Video Tutorial number 14 and this will be a demonstration on how to create a action type cause and effect. So firstly over in the left hand navigator window you see we have two panels. On panel 1, loop 1, we have some devices, smoke detectors and for this example we're going to have these smoke detectors operate the panel 2 loop 1 beacons, i.e. the sound of bass beacons and these beacons will only operate under the detectors on panel 1 loop 1 activating. And that's these devices here as you can see the sound of bass comes as a sub address. So then we select our cause and effects and that shows us three options. We're going to choose the action option and it's going to say select the input conditions that will cause the action so we know that to be the smoke detectors on panel 1, loop 1. We're going to select them. Then we need to choose an action operator. So in this case it's just going to be an OR or a single. So effectively any one of these smoke detectors will cause the action. Push next and then it says select the outputs that will operate by this action. And we're going to select the loop outputs because we know it to be on panel 2 loop 1. But you'll notice that there are several addresses. There's 128 and 128.1. The one are the beacons. So they're taking up the point 0.1 sub address. We could choose continuous. Go next. We give this a name so that we know what it does. So it's going to be P1, panel 1, loop 1 smoke detectors, operate, P2, panel 2, loop 1, beacons. We can say finish and when we go to our cause and effects you can see that it's now created the one, the action event that we just, we just done. For more information on the Synchro Ranger panels, please don't forget to check out our other video tutorials and they can be found on our website at www.insightfire.com.